John Kirsch is an orthopedic surgeon who discovered the power of hanging for shoulder problems to the point that he managed to help his patients, the majority of his patients, avoid surgery from the simple exercise of hanging. And so in this video, I want to go through to explore hanging as an exercise, and I wanna show you why this, this can work, and then most importantly, how you can use it to overcome a shoulder problem that you may have, or even if you don't have a shoulder problem, how you can use it to maintain a good level of function and avoid injury, particularly if you require a high level of function in your shoulder. For example, you lift heavy weights in the gym, or you do a job or a sport that requires your shoulders to be working well and you want to avoid injury. This is something that I do every time I go to the gym and I would recommend to most people. So let's get straight into it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Stephen. If you haven't met me already, I'm a chiropractor in the UK. And today we're gonna to be looking at hanging. So when it comes to the shoulder, the shoulder is, is a very complex joint. And in a similar way to the hips, it re requires a large amount of motion, but not just that, it also has to be able to lift heavy things. So we've got big muscles surrounding these joints that allow us to be able to, to lift heavy objects and to be able to do that in a very large range and a variety of different positions. And so this makes the shoulder a complex joint mechanically through various joints that it has, as well as the ligaments and the muscles. So the shoulder is made up of the clavicle at the, at the front here that attaches to the sternum. And then we've got the shoulder blade or the scapula at the back, and then your arm bone called your humerus then attaches in and then forms this this synovial joint in this area but it's not this just this synovial joint you've also got other joints that connect to the clavicle and the scapula that also make the shoulder and so everything has to work together in concert for you to have proper function now on top of this you've got muscles surrounding that area you've also got ligaments the most important and probably the more well-known muscles that you have in that area is the rotated cuff muscles. Now these are small muscles, not designed for power in the shoulder, but more designed for the stability and the control of the shoulder to allow you to get the power that you need. And when these fail, then your shoulder function will also fail, which means you actually won't be able to utilize the big muscles like your deltoid and your pecs to lift those heavy weights. So it's really important that they are working well. Now, where hanging comes in is you've got an area of the shoulder where you've got a space. This is called a subacromial space, and that's simply because this space is between the top of your arm bone, so your humerus, and the top of, and the bottom, sorry, of your scapula. There's a little bony prominence that goes over the top of your arm bone, and it creates this, then, this little space here. And this space is absolutely essential. It needs to be of a certain size to allow you to bring your arm up to and above 90 degrees. When this space starts to diminish, this is when we get what we call impingement. And that is simply because as you raise it up to about 90 degrees, if you don't have that space, it's going to impinge. It's going to press into that structure. That's going to be very painful and then limit your motion. Typically with impingement, you're going to get most of the pain around the 90 degree mark, so just below and just above it. And typically when you go above that 90 degrees, so 120, 130, the pain can actually relieve because when you get to the top, you've kind of cleared that space already. And this is where hanging comes in because day to day, we spend a lot of our time lifting things and so we have more compressive force going down into the shoulder and over time that can have the effect of closing and narrowing this space. What hanging does is it actually opens up that space. So as you're hanging in that position with your body weight, it pulls the shoulder uh, and separates that shoulder, impacting that space, creating more space in that area and at the same time, it's going to stretch the ligaments, the tendons in that area. And so it's going to give you more flexibility and more motion so that when you go to lift the shoulder, you've got more function in that shoulder and you're less likely to impinge the area. Because one of the issues is when, you, when that space closes down, you've got 
um, things in that area that you can impinge, such as your rotated cuff. And this is quite common and one of the biggest reasons why rotated cuff injuries will coincide with impingement and often one will cause the other. And so if we can open up this space, we can relieve that pressure, allow the rotator cuff and the tendons and the ligaments and generally that, that joint space to heal, which then can bring back your function. So how do we get into it? Because you might be thinking, this is gonna be really painful because if you're in pain, yes, it is gonna be quite painful. However, that like most exercises, we can always do it in a way to lower it and decrease the intensity so you can get started to allow you to get that improvement to then be able to then do it fully. So this is how you do it. You obviously want to find somewhere where you can hold on to and then you're going to be able to hang. You want your, your palms facing away from you as you do this and you're going to grip the bar and what I would suggest is make sure your feet can touch the ground because you don't necessarily, particularly if you're in pain, want to put your full weight through the shoulder straight away. That might just be too much. But the first thing is you need to try and get your shoulder up into that position. And then when, when you are holding the bar, then you just let some of your body weight go, but not all of it. So your feet are still gonna be touching the ground. And then you wanna to aim to, to hold this position for between 10 and 30 seconds. And yes, for if you are in pain, this will be painful to start with. But what you should find is that over, over the next few days to weeks is that it will become gradually less painful. If this is happening, then you're doing this correctly. If it just gets worse and worse, then this may not be a good idea for you to start and you may need to seek some professional um, advice to be able to firstly diagnose specifically what that, what the shoulder, uh, what's going on in the shoulder, and then that person can give you more specific exercises. But this one can often help the majority of people, and this is one of the most common exercises I give for shoulder problems. So as you're holding that bar, and the, as it gets less painful, then you can start to let, let more of your body weight go. So you're letting more of your weight hang, so you've got more of that tensile uh, pressure going through that shoulder until eventually you can get to the point where your feet are completely off the ground. Ideally, you want to aim to be able to have your feet off the ground and hold that for 30 seconds. And I would repeat that three times, so three sets of 30 seconds. To begin with though, you might only have a little bit of your weight going through and you may only hold it for 10 seconds. That's absolutely fine. I would then again still repeat that three times in total and aim to do that every day. Now, if you take a day or two off, that's not, not a bad thing. In fact, resting it for a day or two in the week actually could be a good thing. I would aim to do it most days, and if you feel fine doing it, then I would see no reason why you can't do it every day. But if you need, if, if it's quite sore one day and you need a break, then take a break. But this can help a lot of people. It's helped a lot of people that I've seen in practice. So give it a go if you haven't already. But as I say, if the pain gets worse, then I wouldn't go too far forwards with this. But if it's improving, then you are definitely on the right track. Now, if you don't have pain, you can go straight into the full thing. I do this every time in the gym because I know it's really good for my shoulders and I do it at the same time as doing a core exercise. So give this a go. And if you have any testimonies of this working, put that down in the comments. I'd love to hear that. And I think everyone else would like to, to be inspired by your story to how this worked and also put and describe how you did it and, and what your, your journey was. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. And as always, don't forget that in the description, we've got some discount codes so you can get 10% of Vivo Barefoot shoes. These are minimalist shoes I wear every single day. You can get a free bag of organic coffee called XL Coffee. I think that's only in the UK at the moment, but really, really good tasting coffee. And you can get 15% off Fussy, which is natural deodorant that doesn't contain any of the harmful chemicals that most deodorants these days contain. And you can get 10% of Athanasia, which is a superfood specifically formulated for men. So check those out below. Now I do have an announcement. I am starting a podcast. If you didn't see my post on the community, then I am starting a podcast. It's gonna be called The Art of Living Wild, or at least that's my title at the moment. And I'm gonna be inviting guests from all sorts of different fields to be able to give more knowledge and more experience that I don't have, talk on topics that I can't talk about as much or I don't have as much knowledge in. And I also want to be able to talk more about the mental side of health and the spiritual side of health, as well as the physical side of health. So we're having more of a complete um, fullness of health because to live 
a good life. We need all aspects of health. I'm very excited to be releasing that. That's going to be on this channel. So make sure you are subscribed and you hit that notification bell if you want to be one of the first to see those, as well as my normal videos, which I'm releasing at the moment every Saturday. Thanks for watching. See you next time.